<laughs> What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here once again. Beautiful day. Uh, so this video is more, um, I guess, I think I titled it Expat Drama. Nah, not really drama. It's more give you guys who are becoming expats or guys who are just traveling down here who deal with expats a little bit of info on the type of expats and the way you know you need to protect yourself from some of these guys as i told you a million times just because they speak english does not mean that you're friend and i noticed that a lot of these expats get over on tourists because you know we say, oh he's got to be my friend he's from new york oh he's from texas oh he's from atlanta he's got to be my friend you know and that's not always the case you know um you got a lot of expats who know nothing and get bad info you know so it's like they'll tell you stuff and the reality is it's not true um a lot of them are frauds i do have a, I, you guys know my theory about um social rejects uh a lot of people come down here become somebody else and because they're frauds they'll cover their own bs and talk bad about somebody else which happens a lot so you know um you just got to watch those things. So I'll give you like the different type of expats and how you should move a certain way. You know, it's kind of the same with the locals. Like you want to move with the locals, but you don't want hangarons and people, you know, uh, getting you for your money and make you buy drinks and stuff like that and get money out of you. And believe it or not, a lot of expats do the same thing. It's unfortunate, but it's true. So, you know, you got like many age differences, okay? You got the um, older dudes who are on fixed income, retirement, pension, whatever the case may be. And then you got some younger dudes who, you know, may have businesses back home. You know, a little bit of baller money, I guess. And then you have it the other way around as well. Older dudes who are balling and younger dudes who are broke. So it goes kind of both ways. You know, so you got to, like I said, you kind of got to be leery about certain people. Because as well as the locals have sometimes they'll try to get over on you. You get expats trying to get over on you as well. And that's kind of what this video is about because I noticed like a lot of expats. I'd be like, wow, like, ain't you American, bro? Like, and it's not just men, it's women as well. Like, you're not from here, but you're acting worse than some of the locals as far as the hustling and stuff like that. Um, a lot of them are typical crabs in a barrel, you know, and it's a shame. It is kind of like that. Um, you got, a uh, you know, you have, like I said, you have different types. And it's, it's a shame because you have those that, the ones I despise are the ones that tell you what to pay, who to deal with, where to go. And that's because they get a cut of everything you spend wherever you go. Certain taxis, certain motos, certain restaurants, certain bars, certain people. They'll tell you, hey, deal with this person. And not realizing, you don't realize they get a cut of what you spend with that person, you know. And it's a shame because I, I think as... As expats or gringos, as you want to call us, we should have a little bit more pride in how we do things. You know, my, it's my personal opinion. I don't know. Um, you know, you got a lot of types that um, blame their failures on you and their miscues on you. You know, a lot of misery. Um, you have people that just don't have confidence. As I said, the one thing about I've learned, the one thing I've learned about this country as far as expats go and I will say I will say mainly Sisua mainly but it's all around the country I've met a couple expats do the same thing I call it the Superman complex and let me help you understand what the Superman complex means Superman complex is you were the average Joe the average Jane and like I said this is for men and women it's not just men and you lived your life happily back home wherever you're from you come to another country and you become somebody else. And you take on this big facade of this person that you really weren't back in back home and you create a new story about yourself in this country. So you went from Clark Kent or Jane Kent to Superman or Superwoman. I noticed that a lot down here with expats. Um, I've been accused of it, but it's weird because I'm an open book. Uh, I got people from my neighborhood, I got people from the States, I got people who know me before this YouTube thing that will tell you about me. There's not really much to hide about me. You know, I'm honest with my shit. Pardon me for cursing. Dollar in the curse job. Um, and, you know, you just get people who just become someone else and they're not really who they say they are. Uh, and a lot, you, you'll notice that they'll, they'll try to keep you secluded with them and away from other people. I think more so a lot of... Um, 
people don't have the confidence and such, whatever the case may be. So, you know, they just become someone else and, and that gives them a shield or a mask, whatever the case may be, to live this type of life out here, but they're not really who they say they are, okay? So let's go real quick over the types of expats. I wrote a couple lists here of the type of expats. And I'm gonna break these expats down because these are actually people that live here, in, in, not just in Dominican Republic. These type of expats exist all over the world. Um, you have the miserable expats, meaning they were miserable in the States and they're miserable here, or miserable back home and they're miserable here. They have no type of um, no type of thing about them where they're trying to be happy. It's just misery loves company. They're going to be miserable. They're going to talk bad about everybody, and they're just going to try to help you join their misery. Um, you have also part of that, which is, I think, a different type of expat. You have the expats who live here and hate Dominicans. I'll never understand that. I'll never grasp the concept. They'll live in Dominican Republic and they'll trash Dominicans. They'll talk bad about Dominicans. They'll tell you don't trust Dominicans. They'll tell you Dominicans are the worst people in the world, but they live in Dominican Republic. They'll tell you watch for the gringo prices because they didn't take the time to learn Spanish. They didn't take the time to learn the culture. And they'll trash Dominicans to you every chance they get. But they live here. Uh, what are you here for? I don't know, but it, honestly, this is something that happens on a daily basis. And these guys, guys and girls, women, like I said, men and women, they hate the country and they hate the people, but they live here. That's weird to me. Then you got your, my favorite, this, these are actually my favorite, the information expats. Okay, some of them I call the misinformation expats. Okay, you have expats that actually have information and knowledge, you know, that actually can give you solid info. Then you have the, the expats who give you rumors, hearsay, fourth party info, they don't really know. Then you have the expats who just don't know anything. And they'll tell you what they think they know and what they heard and what they might have heard and just hope that you listen to them and they can ride out and hang with you. A lot of gossip as well. You know, it's like, as I said in another video, it's the blind leading the blind. It really is what it is. Then you have, you know, not everybody's miserable. You have your happy expats, you know, retirees, guys who just want to live their life, couples, families. They're just like, hey, I, lived, I worked hard. I, I deserve to live the rest of my days out in paradise. And they enjoy life. I'm a happy expat. You know, I'm very happy. Even though I get a lot of hate and a lot of nonsense, hey, I won't let none of that bother me. Because if you look behind me, I'm in paradise, you know. Um, I really have not, not much to worry about as far as anybody because no one's capable of doing anything but talking. Uh, business expats, which, you know, I am also a business expat. Guys who come down here, they retire from their business. They just want to start some business. Because one thing I can tell you is once you're retired, it does get kind of boring just sitting around every single day. I have friends that play video games, friends that do hobbies, you know, friends that run around the country. But as a retiree, sometimes guys want businesses just to keep themselves busy, you know. Um, and those guys jump into nice businesses, that, you know, not just in Sassua, but all around the country. Excuse me. And, um, you know, keep, the, keep their businesses going and... That how they spend most of their time enjoying, enjoying paradise, but also having a business. And like I said, you have the retirement of family guys who just enjoy life, you know. So as I said, there's so many different type of expats. Um, then you have the I think you have the one of the expats that I don't like as much are the hustler expats. And some of these guys may get mad at me when they see this video, but as you know, I don't care. I don't hold my tongue. But their whole goal. It's to hustle you. Um, everything they're doing is to get money out of you. You know, let me show you the beach. I'm charging you. Let me show you the river. I'm charging you. Uh, let me let me take you to the club. You pay for me, and you pay for VIP, and you pay for the bottle. So it, it becomes a, another person in your pocket on your trip. You know, and those are the type of expats. They're just hustling to get by. Some of them maybe have a small business. They're making a little bit of money. Some don't have anything. They came down with no money. Um, and that happens a lot. A lot of people come down here with no money. Um, I think Bo Rakes had mentioned that before, the broke, you know, broke, broke uh, travelers or broke expats. What happens, you know, living, living broke abroad, as, as I think he said. Um, so, you know, those guys are hustling or whatever. And then also one thing to be weary of, and it, it's here. So far, I don't have an issue with it. And I actually help a couple guys. As I said, this country does not deal with mental illness very well. I have two friends that, you know, have a, have mental illness. I don't know exactly what it is, but if you ever see them around me talking to me about certain things, you'll realize that that's what I'm talking about. And they don't do anything. 
you know they haven't hurt nobody as far as I know but they do have issues and if you don't know them it may turn you off a certain way you may feel a certain way I think one guy got beat up the other day because you know he go he, he, he snaps and he said some things but he doesn't do anything he doesn't we won't touch anybody but I think a traveler came and saw you know just felt threatened and just you know they had a little fight um, so you have people who come down here with mental illness as well um, I won't say anything negative about them because people have mental illness and there's nothing you can do about that but some of them need their meds or some of them need their family and they're kind of down here alone some most of them are down here alone and they don't take their meds and such and they'll be running around the town bugging out a little bit so as I said you have many different expats I've told you guys a million times and I will say it a million more you don't have to listen to anything I tell you choose who you listen to choose who to follow because a lot of people you know just give you half-ass info you know also you have expats who've lived here 20 years and don't speak spanish so don't think because you don't speak spanish you're like oh man i'll never make it i know guys who who've lived here 20 years say hola and como estas and that's it some guys don't even care to learn spanish and that's, i'm not knocking them they just don't care but in my opinion if you're here all this time you kind of want to learn it and it'll stop you from yelling at Dominicans saying, you're giving me the gringo price, and you're doing this, and you're doing that. You know, so that's just a PSA. Um, I think today I'll have the two videos out. Appreciate you guys. I have a super adventure coming up in a couple days. I'm going to bring you guys along for the adventure. Um, I also, my paperwork for the business came back. I'm going to do the next, the last, the final business video. Uh, my umbrella company, my new umbrella company is done. Um, I'm able to take other companies underneath me and help people out, uh, startup companies or new companies. Um, so, you know, we're doing a lot of things down here. Um, I myself, I consider myself a happy expat and a business expat. And I guess an information expat because I'm always giving info. Uh, but appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share. You know, you guys are the best and you're the reason I do this stuff. And I hope you appreciate me as much as I appreciate you. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Buenas noches, dias. Siete, ocho. Me amo. Kevin, too. <laughs> donde, donde este va? Eh, como si este es.